The Rebel is a loaded fifth line kite, meaning that the fifth line is not just there for safety and relaunch, but that it actually plays a really important role in how the kite flies and handles. Some of the key things you'll notice right away when flying a Rebel are really quick depower, the ability to still steer the kite while depowered, as well as a really direct feel and connection with your kite at all times. One of the more obvious changes we've made to the 2013 Rebel is in the shape of the struts. And um, we've done two things. We've made them thinner in the back and we've kept them thick in the front. Now the reason they're thick in the front is because with any inflatable leading edge kite, the leading edge tends to rotate in flight. And the thing that keeps it from rotating is a good rigid joint between the strut and the leading edge. At the same time, we've made the struts thinner in the back. With a thick strut, we have the advantage of a more stable five strut kite, but by making it thin, we get a little bit of the flexibility and lower weight of a kite with fewer struts. One of the other more obvious changes to the 2013 Rebel is that uh, we've gone with a little bit wider tip. Last year we, we went to a square tip and this year it's still square, a little bit wider. Um, the reason is for a little bit more adjustability in terms of bar pressure and uh, quickness of turning. As with last year, the adjustment, we've got the hard bar pressure setting here. It's better for heavier riders, more advanced riders, perhaps riders that want more feedback. It's good for jumping. And um, if you want to go with a softer bar pressure, you just make that simple adjustment there. And that gives you a little bit more pivoty turn, quicker turn, less bar pressure.